Hey everyone, Midnight Nova here, and today we're going to play some more Valheim with mods. So in this episode, we are going to go to the plains. So right now we're just going to get ready, make some food. I put on my good armor. I already made a bunch of obsidian arrows. Ooh, bees. Hey, I'm trying to get a, a nut from a squirrel so I can make some more nut soup so we can take that to the plains. And hey, we've got, we've got a beehive. I've been looking for a beehive. Yes, queen bee. Now, we'll make one more nut soup. Can I upgrade my buckler real quick? Is that a thing I can do? We need more iron. Um, yeah. Just checking to see if we have anything iron I can get rid of real quick. Yeah. This uh, tower shield. I'm gonna reclaim the tower shield. Get the tin iron. Gonna upgrade our iron buckler to quality three. Yep. Nice. And then we're gonna go to mountain one. Here we go. So there is a fueling village right over there. There's also, um, I believe a sealed tower. Yeah, basically straight ahead. Well, is that uh, a renegade, a plains renegade? Plains renegade, what are you all about? I hate these guys with bows because they just run in circles. They just run in circles. And don't hold still. I'm gonna try to kill them. It's hard to tell when they're gonna start shooting their bow. Because they don't wind up for the shot. They just kinda like instantly go for the shot. So, anyway. Where am I gonna go in these planes? Well, our first fueling. Here we go. A star fueling. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do against a star fueling. Nope. Oh. I can uh, parry. Well, I can't um, block normally. I can't. Okay, here we go. Our first magical thing. Vidar Chainmail. What is that? Epic. Elemental damage reduction. Physical damage reduction. Armor plus 13. 22.6 armor level? What the heck is that? Saga Jack. Uh, let me let's put that on. See what that looks like. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that looks cool. Should I wear this? 22.6 versus 22. Um, no. Nah. My plate mail bonus is better to have that. And it's only 0.6 more. <laughs> so we got some black metal scrap from that. Here we go. This is a regular feeling this time. Okay, fueling trophy. We got a trophy, nice. Um, we will need some various trophies. Um, we'll need a totem for summoning Yagluth. But I'll bet you fueling trophies have some sort of benefit as well. Uh, we need to find a fueling village so that we can get some, uh, some flax. Whoa, serpent scale shield. <laughs> Another one of those, eh? Yeah. We need needles. That's for sure. 
What? We got multiples. I didn't want multiple fuelings. One fueling at a time, please. If you wouldn't mind. Okay. Here's another one. Cool, cool. So, three swings with my, um... With my mace. Where was that... Fueling village? I saw a village with the uh, bonfires. Okay, here's a new animal. This is a prowler. I think that is a plains wolf. And this is a prowler, which is a large cat, I think. I got a plains panther. Hey. Roar, come here. You can get me. Oh, they're even tougher than feeling. Prowler Fang. I don't know what that's good for, but... It should be... Plains Wolf. Here we go. Let's see what this Plains Wolf is all about. Not as... Not as strong as the Prowler. Hide Wolf. Okay. It's just a different wolf. Okay. Interesting. Is that? No, it's not a tar pit. But I think there is a tar pit next to one of my portals. I don't remember which one. If it's this one or if it's uh the other one. Ooh, what are you? What are you? Ugh. Okay, you just had a knife. What is this thing? Silver shield? What is this about? Stagger chance, faint, and faint on critical. Okay. Well, I can... Disassemble that and get the, the resources. It's very foggy, so... Kind of like, what is that in the distance? I think those are both Plains Wolves and an Birch Elder. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, meat. I don't know. But we still need to find a village. I want to get flax so I can make some uh, linen. Specifically, so that what is oh, clabbery, so that I can uh, make the new mace, the porcupine, seal tower. Hey, everybody, we've got a seal tower. Yeah, okay, I wanted to get that birch elder out of the way. Uh, yeah, a lot of giggling and gonna be happening in that tower. Okay, here's a village. Uh, I don't see if they have any uh, crops. I would take either of their crops, of the um, either flax or the the barley. Oh, there's there's some tar. There's a tar right there. Can we get a little bit of tar and see if what that unlocks for us? Any tar blobs? I want to come out one at a time, please. Um, if I get killed down here, it's going to be a problem, isn't it? Whoa, I think that might be a totem right there. It looks like it might be. Oh, but there's a mage. And they got a bunch of their <laughs> um, loxes in their village, too. So I don't want to mess with the lox, either. Although I would like some lox meat. I see crops. Oh, 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 oh. I see crops. So I'm gonna bone that. And then I'm gonna run past these uh, growths. And we're gonna 
try to lure them over towards this village. Okay, so the growths took out that, uh... That mage. I'm, I'm trying to get them to fight each other. As long as I keep running. They shouldn't be able to... Kill me. Oh, tar. Oh, explosive bolt, darkwood gate, shingles, roof. Shingle, shingle, new shingles, roof pieces, dark wood, dark wood beams, dark wood, raven adornment, round table, whoa, hot tub, long heavy table. So this mage is all by himself. Ouch. Ah. Ugh. Come out of that tar. I don't see any other feelings around. So it's just me and this mage. Me and this shaman. Oh, but I'm I'm dying though. I am dying. Got him. Ooh. Black metal scrap. Okay. So I got black metal scrap and I got um tar. So far. Hey, bunch of tar though. Bunch of tar though. I'll take it. It's right on the on the surface. I don't even gotta dig it out. Hey Vikings, enjoying the video so far? Why not give the video a like? If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And share with a friend if you think they'd enjoy it. Every little bit helps. And thanks for watching. I hear a berserker. Well, he's, they see me. They see me. I'm gonna go. They're gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to base. Um, it's almost dark anyway. All right, our, our first venture into the, the planes. And we didn't die. Immediately. Perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. So, put my scrap in there. Put my coal in here. And I ran out of rested pretty quickly, so before I go out again, why don't I make some things that will raise my, um, my rested. Like, will the silver chest raise my rested? Let me, let me find out. Rested comfort six. No. Oh, it doesn't even raise your comfort level. Wow. It looks cool, though. Um, what does raise your comfort level then? Jute carpet? Red jute? There I go. That raises your comfort level. Yeah, this is nice and comfy. About a table. I'm gonna put just a regular old table. I'll put it here, and we'll put um, a bench here. We'll set. Comfort eight. Nice. Then we can make a banner. Let's make a banner. Does a banner raise your uh, comfort level? There. Comfort nine. Cool, cool. Another rug. Comfort ten. No. Comfort nine still. I have a better bed. Iron nails. 
Let me make some iron nails. I'll make a better bed. Okay. Go ahead and get that, uh, money back. Okay. Claimed. Come for 10. There we go. I don't yet have enough black metal to make any better weapons. And I do want to see if there is something in that, um, in that village so I can make the porcupine. So let's go ahead and go back. Can I pull away any of their fuelings without setting them all off? Maybe two I could handle. One would be preferable. So this one's coming. He's not quite... There he is. Now he's fully activated. Is there, is there another one somewhere? Okay, what'd you drop? Silver sledgehammer. What are you? Slash, no movement speed, parry. Oh, hello there. We're gonna put this here. No movement speed penalty. Are you kidding me with this? Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so the this one has the alternate attack as the downward smash and the side swing like the crystal battle axe. Wah. And no movement speed penalty. Nice. I'm gonna keep my buckler out though because I think that might be better. Well, we're gonna hold on to that. Oh. Can I kill this? Oh, he's a star berserker. Of course he is. Of course he is. I want to avoid that guy because he's going to take forever to kill. First of all, even under the best of circumstances. Um, they got barley, looks like. And some flax. Can I run in there? And grab some flax. Well, I set them all off. And I didn't get close enough to grab some barley or some, some flax. Got one. Whoa. Got another one. Got a third one. Okay. You just gotta like... Very carefully... Pick up on, please. Chainmail. Fueling trophy. Is this another chainmail thing? Yeah. Elemental, lightning, stagger, damage, chance. Lightning effect might be elemental and lightning. This might be a good armor to have during the, uh, yeah. This is another one of these ones. Very interesting, though. That might be a good armor to have during the, um, uh, the Yagluth fight because he's elemental and he definitely does lightning attacks. Well, we got more. More fuelings coming out. Just like one or two would be nice. One or two of these feelings. We gotta thin these guys out. We gotta thin these guys way out. There's too many of those to be barging in there and trying to take out a entire village all at once. 
I don't want to try and retrieve my body from the inside in the center of a fueling village. Come in. There we go. So this mace, this bronze mace is still doing work out in the plains. Got it. Got some flax. Got some flax. And also got a whole bunch of fuelings on me. On my back. I gotta like run away from them for a bit. Because at least if I'm this far away. Oh boy. Then I can retrieve my body. Is there a oh, berserk or um a renegade? Will will they go after renegades? Okay, silver buckler. Ow. Okay, so they will attack that renegade. Perfect. Nice distraction, buddy. Silver Buckler, though. Silver Reinforced Assassin's Hood. Oh, he's taking him out. Thanks, man. Thanks for your help. <laughs> he's got a black metal shield, though. <sighs> yeah, take this guy out, though. He's just gonna keep attacking me. Maybe I should bring my um, tamed Vikings with me. That seems really dangerous because they might just die. Parry window, lightning damage. Mm, the level one silver buckler is around the same as a level three iron buckler. Is this another tar pit? Hey man, Prowler. Okay, I'll take your fang. Where's that uh, village at? I lost track. I want to lure those guys towards that village too. So let's uh get all these guys to chase me. No, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die. Do not die. Come on. There we go. I'm not tired anymore. Okay. Go back towards this tower. Well, <laughs> that Deskido got killed by the the growths. <laughs> yeah. You guys. Growths. Growth growths. Star Berserker. Oh, may have done some damage, but not enough, probably. Probably not enough. Okay.
Oh. Shoot this fueling berserker with arrows. And will this be effective enough to kill him before I get killed? Well, it's getting dark. Come get me in the tar. Get some free shots on him. for me now. Are you trying to run now? What if I chase you and burn you to death? Whoa. Okay. Come get me. Better come get me. I'll be over here. I'm cold now. How dangerous is this? Well, I'm facing a star feeling berserker at night in the plains. Uh, pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous, I would say. Oh, he's going back to base. Or is he? Well, almost killed me. You know, it's almost dead though. Got him. I got him. Skull brow. Okay. Fenrir hood. Hold on here, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is all this stuff? And trophy, I want that. Um, I will drop a needle. Okay, bastard sword. Okay, bastard sword. All right, then. Um, let's go back. Let's go back to my portal, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear something. I hear something bad. I hear uh, a ring girl, um, one of those ghost, ghosty girls. You gotta go, and pro possibly, possibly a different monster that I'm not familiar with from the new monster mod. Cause there should be like these uh, skull guys. 
also in the planes at night. But I'm not sure, and I don't want to stick around and find out. So, let's see, one thing I want to see if we can make, crafting spinning wheel. Can I make the spinning wheel? There we go. So I can put flax in here and make um, the linen. I'm going to cultivate some flax. And this is technically planes. So if I make a little flat spot right here, right by this rock. And then we uh, cultivate this, this uh, dirt. Okay, that ought to be good. And then we'll uh, plant this flax. Okay, and we'll um, we'll just let this grow. See if I can get close. Enough to grab some more flax. Oh, Mr. Lox over here wants to say hello. Can I parry a Lox yet? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I should try. Without my bone mass. That could be deadly. Well, I'm able to survive a hit. Okay. Pierce is good. Good. All right, we're doing okay against this locks with my silver at gear. Nice, we got a locks. We got a locks. Uh oh. Ornate silver armor. Oh, oh, lax meat, lax bone. Black metal crossbow. Skeleton trophy. Well, we got a bunch of these guys coming. They must have heard the lax battle. What are you? You ling. Oh, well, I snuck attack him. Sneak attacked. There's some stone. What are you? Are you another star? You look different than a standard berserker. Cause he's got that like armor or like, um, yeah, another star berserker. What the heck? Well, I got another eight flax. Tell you what, I'm going to go back up the hill and plant those flax. And we got another lox meat too. A lot of stone. A lot of stone. <laughs> Plant the flax. So that we can get more. Open sky. Oh no. Okay. That's a shame. What about over here? Um. Do you guys have open sky? 
I think these will grow eventually. We'll see what happens to them. If they just don't grow or if they grow slowly or what. But let's keep chipping away at this village. I don't know about the... What I'm going to do about that uh, berserker. But I'm going to try and get some barley now too. Pull one of their locks away. Hopefully just one I can separate. Okay. One locks. Come here. I can take out one locks. Oh. Hopefully I can take out one locks. And uh, we got some other guys coming out too. If I can just get a little distance from them. Whoa. Ah, uh, a star wolf, plains wolf. Uh oh. Okay, get that wolf. Okay, now, can I just get a little bit more stamina? There we go. So that, uh, berserker is leaving me alone now. Okay, good, good. Take some fuelings away, at least. Peel them off. Take out this guy. Oh, he's a star. Nice. Fenris leggings. Oh, we got the Fenris armor set. And the Fenris hood, too, don't we? Might wanna, might wanna use that. Come here. Oh, he wasn't... He wasn't aggro yet. Could have taken him out. Okay. Now, this... Lux. Oh, he coming. Ugh. Loxes. You gotta attack so quickly. Okay. Oh. Uh, more wolf meat. There. Skeleton trophy. Drake helmet. Health region on critical damage. Okay. Drake helmet. Oh, see, they got a, another star berserker and a regular berserker. Ah, uh, this particular village is just densely packed. With a lot of very dangerous enemies here. One stars. Why so many? I guess it's because they're next to this, uh... 
Sealed Tower, which is a higher level dungeon. Makes sense, in theory, that they would be more difficult. All the enemies around, you buy it. Can I get that treasure chest? Well, let me grab some barley. Okay, and run away. That's the standard um, Berserker. Can I take this guy? If I don't miss. Okay. Okay. Nice. Got him. Oh, a totem. A uh, fueling totem. Uh, wolf meat. Fueling totem. We need those. We need five of those for, uh, yeah, Gloof. So, cool, cool. I'm gonna go back to the portal. We'll, uh, plant barley. And, uh, we'll have to make a windmill when we get back to base. Hmm. Actually, oh, I can plant uh, cloud berries too. Hmm. Cool, cool. Expand outward a bit. Do four more. Okay. I think these will all be fine. More room to grow. There is more stone underneath this. Another silver buckler. This one has slash damage reduction and durability. Hmm. I might want to use that one then. Let's keep working on that village. We're chipping away at it. We will get there. <laughs> How are these plants going? One hour, one hour, needs more room. Is it too close to this other barley or is it because there is a, a rock underneath? Yeah, see there's some rock right there. Oh well. Yeah, well, we'll take out that stone anyway. Okay, let's even out the, the terrain if we can. So, can we get some more flax and stuff without being seen? What's in the chest? Oh, more. Or barley. More barley, more flex. Okay. They do have a mage. Um, let me try killing this berserker. Lead him back towards the uh, tar pit, if I can. I guess um, this is not a good spot to lead him to right now because there are some loxes.
<laughs> Might be better off shooting him. He's almost dead. We're getting him. <laughs> I might need to make more arrows after this. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Finally. Okay. We also need more needles for the uh, porcupine. Um, I should plant that... Um, I should plant that flax. Uh-oh. Got him. Okay. What is that? A star? Like panther? I don't like the look of it. Whatever it is, I don't like the look of it. Prowler. It's just a regular prowler then, huh? Roar. Come get me. Whoa. Oh, he got me. Grilled Prowler. I don't know what the fangs are for yet, but I betcha they're used for some kind of armor. I'll betcha. Okay. So we got a couple more. Oh, I took out that shaman. Took out that shaman. One hit. Get all his gold. And his trophy. Oh. Lex Gall armor. What the heck was that? We got a new armor set. From the shaman. Ah, oh, there's too many feelings. Too many. Okay. That uh, berserker's going back. Noise, noise. Scrap, scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Rocks. Oh. There's that berserker. Bone mass. Come here, berserker. You're just a. You're regular. You're not even. A, you're not even a star. You're not even a star. I can take you out. Come. On. Come get me. I dare you. I dare you. Boom. I can't see when they do that smoke. <laughs> okay. How many more fuelings are in this village? Um, ooh, I got another totem. Nice. Okay, so I took out three berserkers. And there's another totem right there. Okay. Wait, do they have another berserker? Really? Is there another berserker among them? Wow. And another mage. Okay. Didn't realize that. Okay. Taking him out. With my armor set and uh, all the bonuses. 
Standard feelings are manageable. Wish they wouldn't go behind me at all times. I'm gonna go back to the portal, plant this flax that I got. Ooh, yeah. Flax is getting done soon. So. Flax. Barley. Yeah. Hopefully that's good enough. Where's a good spot for the windmill? Probably here? What if I made it right here? There. Now we should be able to reach the barley if we put that in the cooking box. And then, uh, flour will come out of this end. Yeah, we should be able to finish off that entire village. If we are persistent about it. Oh. If there wasn't a renegade. Is that a black metal at here? I want that. Give it to me. Give that to me. I want the black metal at here. Okay. So the the berserker I'm hearing is uh, from inside that tower. I think that's the uh, mini boss inside the tower itself. The uh, fungar. <laughs> Anybody else here? Oh, we got a totem. Yeah, we got... So we've got three of these fueling totems already. Ooh, they got more flax. They've got more flax. Okay. Lure away a, a fueling from his uh, mage buddy. Okay. Anything in this box? Oh, more barley and more needles. There might be some treasure chests in these buildings too. Whoa. Cool, cool. Got him. Another silver shield. <laughs> they drop in silver stuff. Where was that? Uh. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. He can't see me. Can I take him out? Can't surprise him. But I can kill him without him seeing where I am. So cool. So he can't fire back. What's this? Serpent scale shield. What is up with the serpent scale shields <laughs> around here? I don't see any serpents. Sea serpents on the land. So we got flax. Oh. Uh... And all this flax might be something that we can put in our spinning wheel. Because we got a bunch of flax growing. So this entire village is done. Very nice. Birch Elder, let me get some more fine wood, I guess. Yeah. 
let's go back to base and uh, make some stuff. Grab some. No, not yet. All this stuff is still growing. It's all green looking. So that flax will be done later. So I'm going to use up all of this flax for uh, use up all this flax to make linen. Here we go. We got 19. 22. Nice. We can make linen with that. And then with uh, the windmill, I got four barleys I can pop in here. Get some more black metal. So here we go. Linen. Here we go. Padded armor. Black metal at gear. Linen cape. Porcupine. Odin's wizard hat. What? Shield maiden surcoat. What? Throwing axe. Kilted silver armor. What? Black metal reinforced raider helmet. Okay. Straw hat. Coat of plates. Why would straw hat need a linen? Nomadic helmet. Nomadic boots. Serpent Knight's cape? What? What was that? <laughs> How much linen do we need for the porcupine? Porcupine, where's the porcupine at? Iron and 10 linen. So we do have enough needles. That's good. We just need the linen and more iron. Yeah, porcupine. Can we make the porcupine? Yes. Yes, we can. Craft the porcupine. Yes. Perfect. Uh, my enchant is level three already. Porcupine, rear enchant. Let's see what we get. Okay, fire. Club skill plus seven and imbue fire. So we get uh, a, a fire porcupine. <laughs> and we get extra club skill. Perfect. Because it's a club. Um, but I do want, I think, I think I do want to have a silver buckler. If I can afford that. Don't we have another one? Yeah, we have, we have a silver buckler here. Parry window, lightning damage. Additional parry window. Might be pretty good, actually. And then we will augment. Parry window I like. Lightning damage reduction. Well, let's see what else we get. Aug augment this silver shield. Okay, faint weightless slash damage reduction. That's just gonna make it like the other one. What does faint do? So faint gives you a chance of not getting hit at all. Interesting. So I'll take the faint. Yes. That's kind of good. Tell you what, we'll take that. Oh, and one other thing I can do is I never made my stone cutter. Stone cutter workbench. There. Paved road, hearth, sharpening stone. Stone walls. Yeah, so we can make stone pillars and things. Like a stone throne. But one other thing I can do is make a sharpening stone. Now that I got a sharpening stone, my I can upgrade my forge with a new grinding wheel. I guess I can access this and then, then get that. Forge level six, good enough. And now I can upgrade my porcupine to quality three. Yes, excellent. Okay, so my silver buckler and my porcupine are both upgraded. Very nice. That's got to be painful to put on your back. Ouch. <laughs> okay. 
Can I upgrade my silver at gear one more time? I need a bunch of silver. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the mountain and get more silver. And then I'm going to re um, upgrade my silver at gear. And we'll keep that for now. And we got another silver over there. I'm gonna use my porcupine on a Yeti. See how they like it. Yo. Yo. Besquito. In the snow. Ugh. So distracted. There we go. Oh, a bear. <laughs> I'm like, but you're not a yeti. You're a grizzly bear. And now you're dead. <laughs> In addition to being a bear, now you're a dead bear. Oh, is that a obsidian golem? I've never fought an obsidian golem yet. Let's try it. Well, obsidian golem trophy. Whoa, ho, ho. Fenris leggings. Is that the, the full Fenris armor set now? Do I have the whole thing? Um, I got all of the silver out of here already, right? So now there's one more silver up the mountain that I have marked. There may be more that I haven't marked. I just didn't bring my, didn't bring my wishbone, so. Is there another golem? Yeah, there is. Is this a, a regular stone golem? Looks like it. Hey man, let's see how you do against uh, this silver hammer. Oh. oh, you got a combo. I like this. Oh, there's a combo to it. I didn't realize. Whoa, is there not another golem up there? Two golems. Yeah. Hey, man. Why don't you come towards more flat terrain here? Oh, I can stagger him. Nice. Should I upgrade this? Is this level quality one? It is still quality one. Parry plus 16% and slash. Okay. And this is a really nice silver hammer. I did not realize that it also had a three hit combo and can do the smash. The smashy smash. It can do both. I'm not used to using these uh, two handed hammers. Or two-handed um, weapons. Is that a third one? Wow. I didn't realize there'd be this many. <sighs> Come here. Come here. We'll get some more crystal. Ah, you're too high. Yeah. As soon as we get going. Oh, you got a crystal battle axe. That allows you to do the same moveset as me, right? Yeah, but I 
anymore. Not when you're dead. Ah, so many drakes. So many drakes. And a Yeti. For that matter. And a Yeti. Rake. You're really distracting. Okay, here we go. Porcupine. Here we go. Yeah. So now you're weak to pierce, and my porcupine has pierce. Very nice. What was that one? Pickaxe? Another pickaxe? Wow. Attack speed and durability. They really want you to have a pickaxe. <laughs> I think now I should be able to dig straight down here. Hopefully I can find it just by digging straight down. I don't have my wishbone on me, so I, I thought I could quickly get some silver. Oh, there's some. There's some silver. I found it. Just get as much as I can carry, which I guess is this amount. I guess is exactly this amount. Yo. Oh, Star Wolf. What's this? What is this? Bear meat. Oh. No. Fox is attacking me. I'm just slightly too heavy. Arctic Fox. Get. Get out of here. I can't have you existing. You gotta not exist. you for not existing get the silver in our other smelter in here armory level six why is this level six because my um is it tied to the uh the forge level Ooh, okay we've got more things in here Fenris armor can upgrade to Fenrir armor. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and this is a uh, Fenris leggings. Fenris leggings that are quality 10, have movement speed, and feather fall and sprint stamina use. Whoa, I'm gonna wear these. Yeah. Cause uh, armor 22. Armor 28, so they're even better armor. And they give me feather fall and sprint stamina use reduction. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and they're already plus 3% movement speed. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I got feather fall again. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> and better armor. Ho, 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 ho. Nice. Nice. Let's jump off the roof. Yeah. Oh, I didn't jump, I fell off the roof. This one. Stamina and all armor on health critical. Um, I'm going to see if I can augment. So I want this one. I don't want health critical. I want um, something else for my silver reinforced raider helmet of protection that already has stamina regen. So what else can we get? Let's augment. Okay. Fire damage, pierce damage, health regen. So I can get health regen and stamina regen. Okay, that'll do. 
So we're going to call it here for today. In this episode, we went out to the plains and we took out an entire fueling village. Um, it took a while. We had to go back there multiple times and uh, take out a few of the fuelings at a time. They had a good number of one star fuelings and one star berserkers because we were right next to the sealed tower. So there was going to be stronger enemies, but we did get three fueling totems. So we are on our way to summon Yugluf as soon as we find his summon location. And we got some flax and we uh, put that in a spinning wheel so we could make some linen. And then we crafted the porcupine here as well as uh, we got a silver shield as a drop from one of the fuelings. And we upgraded that and uh, augmented all of our magic stuff. I got Fenris armor leggings um, that have feather fall and uh, stamina use. So triple whammy, they got extra speed, less stamina use on running, and feather fall. And they are also quality 10. So <laughs> I don't even need to upgrade them manually. They're just already quality 10. We also planted some flax and some barley um, in a little spot next to the portal that's in the plains itself. So that should allow us to make some new food. And then we went up the mountain and we got some more silver. So in the next episode, we're going to go get some more planes and mountain resources. We're going to upgrade more of our equipment. And uh, we're going to start looking for the Yagluth summon location. So if you would like to follow along with our modded adventure and see where we go next, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to make a comment down below or hit the like button, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.